I, uh, I had spent um, 20 plus years in various roles with the Lining Cooker Brewing Company, starting in sales in Chicago, uh, joined our parent company, Miller Brewing Company, as a chain account manager in Chicago, and then also um, then became vice president of sales for Jacob Lining Cooker Brewing Company. Uh, worked in Milwaukee, raised my family in Milwaukee at Miller's headquarters, but was fully um, on the Lining Kugel business. I took on the marketing responsibilities in 1998, and I stayed in that role until 2008, mm -hmm. when I took a step back from the company and went to work as the Secretary of Commerce for the state of Wisconsin. So I did that for 19 months. And then I was fortunate enough to come back to, at that time, what was called Tenth and Blake Beer Company, uh, a division of uh, Miller Coors, as we were embarking on a creating a specialty craft beer division for Miller Coors at that time. So I did a development role there, a business development role, where I did some M&A work. And then in 2014, uh, I had been preparing to be Jake, my brother Jake's successor when he announced his retirement. So I took over for Jake in 2014. At the same time, uh, believe it or not, I began thinking about me leaving someday. And I wanted to ensure that there was a succession plan that would bring on the next generation of the family leadership into this business. At the time, uh, my brother had two of his sons and a daughter working in the business. Um, my brother John was in the business, and uh, Jake's daughter Ellie was just graduating from college. She was thinking about coming into the business. Uh, but I, I figured that you could never have too many family members uh, in a family-run business. So I approached Tony who was working with, in a marketing role with TDS at the time. And I approached Tony about coming in to work in the beer business. Because I thought, my, my thought was, he could be a leader of this company. Uh -huh. uh, so that's kind of where I was, you know, in 2014 taking over for Jake, but with an eye on the future. And uh, lo and behold, uh, that day is coming and uh, Tony has been uh, tapped to be my successor. So Tony, what's going through your mind right now, you know, day to day trying to prepare for this, this transfer? Yeah, well, I, fortunately, um, we have been in this position where um, I can work closely with Dick for the next year. So starting in January through the end of the year, um, really taking a lot of time um, and good opportunity to meet with our distributors, our you know key stakeholders throughout the nation, and um, introduce myself, um, develop those relationships that are critical to our business, learn about um, the daily operations here at the brewery, and also um, kind of understand what some new opportunities are going to be in the future. So it's been a really, really good opportunity for me to spend what I think is, you know, a good amount of time, a year, to get my feet underneath me and really get grounded in, um, in what, you know, the kind of the pillars are going to be moving ahead. What are you most retires. excited about, look, you know, looking ahead? I'm most uh, energized about that new pilot system that's right over there that you can see through the windows. So we just opened that this year, February, and that is a small batch brewery that is designed to really kind of come out with new recipes, develop new recipe, recipes, uh, play around with some different styles, and... Um, brew some different beers on a smaller scale that we're not really able to do with the big brewery across the, uh, the river there. Mm -hmm. And so that will, um, that's really designed to deliver the next big thing for Lining Kugels. And mm -hmm. so that's, we're kind of ramping up and getting going with that new brewery and my expectation is that we'll deliver the next big thing for Lining Kugels right out of there. So